welcome back to the Arsenal percent. Let's talk about Leo, Leandro Trossard, aka I call him the bossard. What a player. I call him the clutch cannon because he might not give you the exhilarating performance all the time you want, but when it comes to clutch moment, Trossard is always there. Before we continue this conversation, be kind enough to strike the like button. Subscribe and subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let me repeat for those at the back, those who don't catch it the first time, like the video, subscribe and subscribe, and make sure you turn on the your notification bell. Very, very, very important. Uh, give me a moment. I need to put. I need, I need to get this slide up as quick as possible about my Leo, my Leandro Trossard, aka the Bossard. What a player, my mom. Now, he was a player. How many times has Trossard actually come out to score clutch goals? How many times? I'm not saying he has the pace of Martinelli. No. He might not have the excitement of Martinelli all the time. But what he has is he knows how to score the good goals. For me, he's the best shooter in our, in our ranks. He's the most reliable goal scorer we have in the team at the moment. Some of you say, but he missed that chance. He got a Even Ronaldo da Lima missed chances. The best players, Messi, they all missed chances. Let's not, let's not go there. Let's not argue in bad faith. Come on. On the balance of averages, most, most Arsenal fans want our, our solitary chances to fall to Trossard. He is, go he is going to just convert it. He's going to convert it on a lot of averages. Trossard has been phenomenal this season. Now, I wanted one other, other thing I like about Trossard that he knows his place. He is not, he's not kicking on the feet that he's not starting all the time. Even though the last seven to eight games, he has been starting based on merit that he has been better than Martinelli. Martinelli has suffered a loss of form since he had that cut uh, on his foot. And Trossard has been coming clutch. He might not be as exciting as Martinelli. He might not stretch the play like Martinelli. But what he has, he knows how to come inside. He knows how to dribble. He knows how to score clutch goals. He knows how to score against the big teams. I think he has scored against uh, Liverpool this season. Uh, let, me, let me check it real quick. He scored against Chelsea, quote unquote, big team, traditional big team, Liverpool, Porto, Bayern, United. He's a big game player. He's a clutch cannon. He's a clutch cannon. You, he's a clutch cannon for the team. He comes in, he does his job, he's out. Sometimes he gives you that exciting football. He can dribble, close control, movement, intelligence, clean strike, happy dexterous, left foot, right foot. Trossard is that guy. Experience. We need that kind of quality in other part of the pitch. Players that are experienced who know their position. They know they will not play. They won't start all the time. But if they're on form, they start. And when they start, the level does not drop. They might not have the speed and the athleticism. That I say, as much as I love speed and athleticism, I still appreciate players who might not have that speed or athleticism, but they have effectiveness, right? They have productivity. That's Trossard for you. The productivity is on point. The effectiveness is on point. He And most importantly, they know their position. A player like Trossard that came from Brighton, under the fact that, under the notion that he had problems with Giuseppe of indiscipline, he hasn't shown that at the moment at Arsenal. Because you understand, at, at the big club at Arsenal, you do not have the, the, the God-given right to start all the games. You are, you actually start on merit. Right? Martinelli is our supposed number one on the left wing. But for the last seven to eight games, Trossard has been, has been starting because on merit, he has been better. Martinelli, for some for some reason, we might discuss on that video, has not been able to scratch this season. Martinelli has more speed, has more athleticism, maybe more dynamic, but Trossard, in his own way, is very effective, scores good goals, comes in in, in the clutch moment, has a, has for me has a cleaner strike amongst our as an attacking force. And he has delivered 12 goals this season. No penalty goals. 12 goals in the Premier League and one assist. And scored some crucial goals against Porto in the Champions League. Another crucial goal against Bayern, even though we did not proceed to semi-finals. But you can see Trossard contributing tangibly. It reminds me of Freddie Lundberg, who was not a starter. But when, once he came to the team sometimes, he started some games. But when he came to the team, we did not miss Perez too much. 
because they contributed their own quota to the team. So shout out to Trossard, shout out to him. What a signing, what an underrated player in some quarters. Some of us understand and appreciate what he gives to this team. Productivity is reliable, doesn't get injured often. So Trossard, I, 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 I want us to go to this summer and get the prototype of kind of Trossard. I don't mean it has to be the same age as Trossard. A player that can come in, that when they come in for other, other players, the levels do not drop significantly. I, I, I prefer it doesn't drop at all. But when Trossard comes to Martinelli, like I said, he might not have the speed. He might not stretch the play. But what he has, he, he works with his strength of coming inside, playing on the inside, dragging defenders on the inside, very intelligent runs, shooting accuracy, goals, scoring big goals, scoring at crucial times that can change the, the, the game state. That is kind of players we should bring in in summer to be on our bench. Not players like Ketia, with all due respect, who are not just good enough. Or listen, who are not just good enough. Smithrow has fallen into that category recently. Injuries has contributed to the fact that Smithrow might not be good enough for the for the trajectory of Arsenal. We, are moving. we need players of experience, of quality and availability. And Trossard embodies that abundantly. Abundantly. So, clutch cannon Trossard is phenomenal. And we have to give him his flowers. I'm happy we signed him. It's on a four-year deal. So, we're still going to see more of Trossard next season. It's not going anywhere. And he understands that he will start some games and will start on the bench sometimes. And there's no problem. But you understand the team objective the team ethic, and is abiding by it. So far, so good. So let me know what you think about uh, Clutch Cannon Trossard in the comment section. Do you rate him as highly as I rate him? Or do you think we should sell him and bring somebody better? And when we make somebody better, give me, logically, objectively, the better, quote-unquote, better, that can do better than Trossard, and see accept the fact that they might not be starting on the bench. Let me know. Give me those names, because I don't see it. Trossard, for me, is a perfect fit for how Arsenal want to operate, right? You cannot have uh, more, more than 11 starters, but when you bring players off the bench, make sure the quality doesn't drop. And some players have to understand that they might not necessarily start, but if they are on good form, they will start. And even though they're in good form or not, they should be able to contribute significantly to the objective of the team, which is winning and winning trophies. So let me know what you think in the comment section. On your way out, please like the video. Very, very important. Subscribe, yes, subscribe, and make sure you turn on those notification bells. Extremely important you turn on those notification bells. One more time, if you didn't catch it the first time, like the video, subscribe, yes, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. Very, very important. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>